So when you access CasaOS for the first time, you are going to be prompted to create a new account. So just click on go, select your username and uh, type your password twice. Well, of course, you can use securely generated password. And by the way, your web browser should save this uh, password for the later use. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to provide my own password. And once again, I'm going to create my account. Okay, my password needs to be longer. Let's try with this one. And finally and officially allow me to wish you welcome to Casa OS. So definitely the first thing that you should check out if you are new to Casa OS is Terminal. Uh, and you are going to access it with uh, this small icon. Now if I use account that we just created in order to log into my terminal, what is going to happen? You see? We cannot log in. This is mistake that is usual to people new to Casa OS. And why is this happening? This is not exactly a problem because your SSH works perfectly. Although it has OS in Casa OS name, Casa OS is still not operating system in the full sense. It's more software layer or image if you wish on top of another operating system. That is Debian 11 in this case. This account, Kind Spirit Technology, can be used only to access web interface of Casa OS, but not Debian 11 operating system that is hosting it. If you want to log into operating system that is running your Zima board, you are going to use another credentials. Casa OS and password Casa OS. And we are in. But now, this raises another question. This means that anybody who can access your local network can access your Casa OS using these default credentials. And that's absolutely true. If I use my uh, terminal from uh, my own operating system uh, and if I type SSH Casa OS at and if I provide IP address of uh, my server 013 if I provide password Casa OS, you see, I am in. And this is definitely something that you don't want. You want to limit access to your server. And there are two possible ways to solve that problem. First one is to change password for Casa OS user. And another is to create another user and to prevent Casa OS user to log in through SSH. So in order to show you that, I'm just going to log out. We don't need this terminal. We are going to do that cr uh, through this uh, web terminal. And in order to change password for your user, you are going to type command sudo passwd and you are going to uh, provide username. So it's Casa OS. Now I'm going to provide password for Casa OS. It's Casa OS. And now I'm going to provide another password. And once more. So now I'm just going to type exit. So now you can see credentials that we use in our previous case and I'm going to click on uh, I icon so you can see that password is also Casa OS. Now if I try to log in, you see we cannot do that. But if I change password to my new password, 11983 or type any other password that you like, if I try to connect now, you see, it works. So that's first method. And before we continue to second method, I want to change password to its uh, original value. So I'm going to use sudo passwd casa os. Now I'm going to provide 11983 and I'm going to type casa os again, casa os. Password updated successfully. Let me try. Casa OS. All right. So now second method is to create uh, another user and to exclude Casa OS user uh, from SSH. So first step in this method is to create another user. So I'm going to use command sudo, of course, user add. KST for kind spirit technology. Okay, I have to provide the password. It's Casa OS. 
now we have to add uh, this user to sudo group so it's again sudo add user kind spirit technology to sudo group next step is to set password for uh, kst user so of course sudo pass w d k s t and i'm going to add new password all right we have it and now i'm just going to log in as uh, k s t and i have to provide that new password all right we are in now if i type who am i not <laughs> misspelled I'm KST and final step for this method it's to exclude CASAOS user from SSH for that we have to edit one file so I'm going to use command uh, sudo again I'm going to use nano editor and we have to edit file etsy ssh sshd underscore config I have to provide password go to the end of this file we are going to add one line we are going to add line deny users you of course can provide multiple users but I'm going to provide just casa OS control O to write these changes control X to get out and now I'm going to use uh, sudo systemctl ssh no not ssh restart ssh now I'm going to type exit exit once again and now if we uh, use uh, these credentials if I uh, click on connect no we cannot uh, connect with uh, casa os what we have to do we have to provide uh, kind spirit technology and i have to provide password for kind spirit technology 11983 if i connect boom baby but now if you are logged in you can uh, use uh, casa os again so just use command switch user and casa os provide password for uh, casa os casa os and we are logged in as casa os and i'm just going to close this terminal so guys that's all for this episode in upcoming episodes we are going to talk more about casa os and zima board and for now i hope that you like this content so please like subscribe and see ya